HTML is used to define the structure and the content of a web page. CSS is used to give style to that structure and make it look nice. And CSS is really easy to learn. I'm going to start on paper by drawing out the design that I want. I want a header on my web page. You can say my website. On the left hand side I want some navigation with some links there. I want the main content to be to the right and then a footer at the bottom. You can have a copyright notice. So in HTML each box is going to be a div. To define the structure even further, I'm going to put everything in a div, so then I can center that in the middle of the page. I'm going to put this middle section in a div as well, because in HTML it's good to define rows and then split the rows up into columns if necessary. So we're going to call this this outer one container. I'm going to give it the ID container, the hash means it's the ID. Then we've got hash header. This middle container I'm going to call content, and inside of content we've got hash nav for navigation and hash main for the main section and then hash footer at the bottom. I want the background of the whole page around here to be grey. I want the background of container to be white. I want the background of header to be blue. and I want the background of footer to be grey as well. I want the whole thing to be 800 pixels wide. I want the content to have 10 pixels of padding around the outside so this space here, I want 10 pixels, which leaves 800, subtract 10 and 10, 780 pixels for the content. If I want main to be 600 pixels wide, this leaves 180 pixels for navigation. Now I'm going to quickly create that HTML structure. First in Windows Explorer, you need to go to Folder Options and untick Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Then create a new text document. I'm going to call it index, and then change the .txt to .html. Index is the name you give to the home page of a website. I'm going to use Notepad++ to edit this. Any text editor will do. So HTML tags, then our head tags, and we have a title, my website. Body tags, we have a div with the ID container. Then we have a div with the ID header, content and footer. Inside content we have nav and we have main. So if we just zoom out you can see all of those divs make up the structure we drew out on paper. So inside header we just want heading 1 saying my website. Inside nav Heading 3. Now for the navigation links, it's a good idea to put them in an unordered list, just for some nice structure. We might have about, we might have contact. Inside main, header 2, home page. And I'm going to add three paragraphs. Paragraph 1, paragraph 2, and paragraph 3 of text. This is just Laura Mipsum, which is nonsense text. And then finally, in the footer, copyright, Ampersand copy semicolon gives you the copyright symbol 2014 Jake Wright. So if we save that and open it in a browser, you'll see all of the content is there, but it just doesn't look very nice at all and it doesn't have the layout that we want. This is where CSS comes in. Create a new file, I'm going to call it style.css. First, we have to define a relationship between the HTML file and the CSS file. We do this with the link tag in the head section of the HTML. The first attribute is the relationship, rel, and we tell it that it's a style sheet. The type of the file is text slash CSS. And then the link or the path to the file, and since it's in the same folder, we can use a very simple relative path of style.css. And then it's a self-closing tag like that. So the syntax of CSS, first you define an element that you want to target. So if I want to target an element with the ID header, I type hash header and then open curly brackets and then further down close the curly brackets and everything inside these curly brackets will be applied to the, anything on the page with the ID header. For example, I want to set the background color to blue so set background hyphen color. Multiple ways to set colors, I can just type blue but that doesn't give you much freedom and control. The best way to do it is with a hex code. If you google HTML color codes you'll get a nice list of these and I found earlier that 66CCFF is a nice shade of blue. When you do this, you must prefix the number with a hash. So if we save this and refresh our page, we get a blue 
background for the header. We might also want to make the text inside that div white. We do that by saying color colon, then we can just type the word white. And then each line must end in a semicolon. I mentioned that I wanted the background of the whole page to be gray. You can target the whole page by targeting the body tag. You know, you don't need a hash, just the word body. And we can set the background color hash e e e e e e is the shade of grey that I want. You'll often see when all of the numbers or letters are the same you can shorten it and just type three of them. Then we wanted our container to have a white background. I want the the heading of the website to be centered. You can do that with text hyphen align center. Remember the semicolon. And I wanted the whole page to be centered in the middle and I wanted it to be 800 pixels wide. So this is why we wrapped everything in a container div, so we can set the width to be 800 pixels. Now to center it, you need to set the margin hyphen left to auto, and the margin hyphen right to auto. This will center divs horizontally. This doesn't work vertically, but it's very useful for doing it horizontally. I've just noticed I've got home page in there twice. Sorry about that. Our next problem is putting the navigation and the home page side by side. Let's start by defining the widths. We wanted the content div to have 10 pixels of padding. Now we could do padding left 10 pixels, padding right 10 pixels, but it's quicker just to use the shorthand property padding, and then the first number is the top, the second number is the right, the third number is the bottom, and the fourth number is the left hand side padding. Now, since these are all the same, we can shorten this even more and simply just type 10 pixels and that applies it to all sides. We then wanted our nav div to have a width of 180 pixels and our main div to have a width of 600 pixels. Now the thing about divs is they always appear on a new line. To stop that we need to set them to float. We want them to float next to each other. We want nav to float to the left of its parent. Content is its parent. Now main can float either left or right. It doesn't matter because there's no space for it to move. But I'm going to put right just so it's easy to see which order they come in. So that puts them next to each other. It makes a new problem though, since they're floating, the footer now doesn't care that it hasn't finished, it's, it, they overlap. To fix that, we target the footer div, and we apply a rule to this saying clear both. Now this means we must be clear of any floating elements before we display ourselves. So you can see here, there's still a floating element here. Clearing both means let's get past all of the floating elements and then display. Moving back to the HTML, I'm just going to actually make these navigation links into links with the A tag. They're not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to apply a class to the first one and call it selected because that is the page we're on at the minute, the home page. So let's first make the selected link bold. To do that, we can target the class dot selected. Hash for ID dot for a class. Now if we had a selected class somewhere else and we wanted to be more specific, we could do hash nav hash selected, just separate them with a space. This filters it down to any object with the class selected inside of the object with the ID nav. Then we can say font hyphen weight bold. Since the links it puts an underline under them, we might not want that. We might want to get rid of underlines on all links on the page. So just like we targeted the body tag, we can target the A tag and say text hyphen decoration none. We might want our links to be red, color red. And we don't like those bullet points, so let's do something about those. Let's target the unordered list within the navigation div. Let's set the list hyphen style hyphen type to none. That removes the bullet points. And let's set the padding to zero. That removes the space at the left. The reason we have a gap along the top is because this heading has a margin on it. We can target the h1 tag and set the margin to zero. If we wanted to apply the same rules to a number of different tags, we can separate them with commas. We could apply it to h2 and h3 as well, and that would remove the margin from all of the headings. To give the web page a nicer font, we can set the font family property of the, the whole body tag. Now you need a font stack, you start with the name of the font that you want, then you need some backups in case the user doesn't have that font. So we could try Arial, then just end with a type of font like sans serif. Finally, let's give the footer 10 pixels of padding. Set the background color to gray. I'm going to choose 999999. Set the color of the text to white and set the text align to right. And equally give the header 10 pixels of padding. And there we go, that's the web page we designed on paper.
So to recap the syntax of CSS, first you start by specifying what you want the following rules to target. So that could be something with a particular ID, in which case you type a hash and then the ID, which could be something like header. Then you open curly brackets and then close the curly brackets and inside, it's a good idea to indent just like in HTML so it's easy to read. You can put the rules, they come in the form of the property name a colon and then the value you want to set. Each rule ends with a semicolon and it's useful to put each rule on a new line. If you want to target something with a particular class you use a dot instead of a hash. If you want to combine them, if I wanted to, to apply this rule to the object with ID header and all of the objects with class sidebar I can do that by using a comma. If you want to target a tag instead of an ID or a class, you just type the name of the tag, so like A or body. If you want to be more specific, just separate the identifiers with spaces, so you can have hash content dot sidebar. And this means apply this rule to any object with a class sidebar inside the object with the ID content. Of course, this doesn't have to be an ID, that could be a class, we could be even more specific. This chain can be as long as you want, as long as in the HTML, this is inside of this, and this is inside of this. One last thing I want to mention is that you don't need to put the CSS in a separate file. There are two other places you can put it. You can put it inside style tags directly in the head section, just like that. Or you can use inline CSS. You can add the style attribute to any HTML tag. But it's better practice and much simpler if you keep the CSS separate in its own file, so I recommend doing that. Hopefully this has given you a good introduction to CSS, which will help you turn those plain websites into something presentable. Thanks for watching. Which is number plus number two, and then we could output by typing echo sum um, five plus three, which will, as expected, give us eight.